In the vast expanse of the ocean, where the light struggles to penetrate the depths, there lurks a horror beyond human comprehension, the abyssal serpent. Tales of its existence have haunted sailors for centuries, whispered in hushed tones among seasoned seafarers, a warning to all who dare venture into the dark embrace of the sea. It was a moonless night when the crew of the Siren's Call set sail, oblivious to the terror lurking beneath the waves. Captain Anders, a weathered man with salt-streaked hair and a gaze as steely as the ocean itself, led his crew with confidence. But as they ventured further from shore, an unsettling feeling settled over the ship, like a shroud of impending doom. As the hours passed, the sea grew restless, waves crashing against the hull with increasing ferocity. Whispers of unease spread among the crew, but Captain Anders dismissed them as mere superstition. However, their fears were soon realized when a shadow emerged from the depths, a monstrous coil of darkness that slithered through the water with malevolent intent. The abyssal serpent had found its prey. With eyes like smoldering coals and teeth sharp as razors, the serpent rose from the abyss, its massive form dwarfing the ship. The siren's call trembled as if in the grip of some unseen force, its timbers groaning in protest. Panic seized the crew as they beheld the creature's monstrous visage, a nightmare made flesh. Desperate, Captain Anders ordered his men to fight, but their weapons were like toothpicks against the Leviathan's hide. With a single swipe of its titanic tail, the serpent sent men flying into the churning waters below, their screams swallowed by the relentless sea. As chaos reigned upon the deck, the serpent's gaze fell upon young Timothy, the cabin boy. Frozen with terror, he stood rooted to the spot as the creature loomed over him, its foul breath hot against his face. With a deafening roar, it snatched him in its jaws, dragging him beneath the waves with a sickening crunch. The siren's call was no match for the abyssal serpent's wrath. In a final act of defiance, Captain Anders ordered the ship to be scuttled, sending it plummeting into the abyss below. But even as the vessel descended into darkness, the echoes of the serpent's fury could be heard, a haunting reminder of the terror that lurked beneath the waves. From that day forth, tales of the abyssal serpent spread like wildfire, a cautionary tale to all who dared defy the ocean's depths. For in the heart of the sea, where light dares not tread, there lies a horror beyond imagining, a creature of nightmares, hungry for the souls of men. And woe be unto any who dare to challenge its domain, for in the embrace of the abyssal serpent there is no escape, only eternal torment. Title Leviathan's Lament In the inky blackness of the ocean's depths, where sunlight fears to tread, and the pressure crushes all but the hardiest of souls, there resides a horror that defies mortal comprehension, the Leviathan. This is not a tale for the faint of heart or weak of spirit, for the Leviathan's presence strikes fear into even the bravest of souls. Picture this, a lone yacht, adrift on the open sea under a sky devoid of stars. A group of thrill-seekers, young and carefree, had embarked on a journey seeking adventure unaware of the malevolent force that awaited them beneath the waves. As the night deepened, a sense of foreboding settled over the vessel like a suffocating fog. Whispers of unease floated among the group, but they laughed them off, dismissing them as mere superstition. Little did they know, their laughter would soon turn to screams of terror. It began with a subtle tremor, barely noticeable at first but quickly escalating into a violent upheaval that sent the yacht rocking violently. The sea churned with an otherworldly fury as the Leviathan emerged from the depths, its massive form dwarfing the vessel like a mountain rising from the abyss. With eyes like pools of endless darkness and a maw filled with rows of razor-sharp teeth, the Leviathan exuded an aura of primal terror. The group watched in horror as it circled the yacht its massive body casting a shadow over them like a harbinger of doom. In a desperate bid for survival, they tried to flee, but the Leviathan was relentless in its pursuit. With a deafening roar that reverberated through the very depths of their souls, it lunged forward, its gaping jaws closing around the yacht with bone-crushing force. The vessel was torn asunder, splintering into pieces as if they were nothing more than flimsy toys. The occupants were snatched up one by one, 
their screams drowned out by the roar of the ocean and the triumphant bellow of the Leviathan. Those who witnessed the horror of that night were forever changed, haunted by the memory of the Leviathan's wrath. They would spend the rest of their days plagued by nightmares, tormented by the knowledge that in the heart of the ocean,